story mistake. So we've recently heard from Instagram that the story algorithm and the reels sort of feed algorithm are now kind of intertwined. They used to kind of say that they were two separate things, but now if your stories don't perform well, your reels are gonna be pushed to less people. In that same report, they found that people that were sharing their reels or their carousel posts into their story would actually have a contraction in engagement. And that's because users don't like to see something in their feed and in their story. So the two things should be separate. In particular, there used to be this style where you would kind of, you know, you'd post a reel up and then you would share it to your story and you'd kind of block it out. New reel, click here. And they found that that in, in the most significant way was really sort of offending users. People don't like it. Don't do it anymore. I mean, I never really did it anyway, but if you're doing that, stop. Just don't do it, okay? The easiest fix for this is just to never share anything from your feed into your story. Instead, for story posts, just try Try experimenting. I've done a lot of polls. I've also just started to share like memes and stuff like that. Just funny parenting memes. They seem to be resonating. They're doing well. And you know, sometimes I'll get 500 or a thousand people interacting with that funny little post which means that the algorithm of the stories is hopefully happy with me and then it will feed into my reel and carousel. The biggest change that I'm going to make in 2024 is my hooks. And I know you've probably heard a bunch of Instagram guru people tell you that you need better hooks, but they often don't really kind of give you a structure on how to do that. So what I've done is I've put together all the different hooks that I've found from different resources online or videos I've watched, and I've just chucked them into my free content calendar, which you can just get in the description below. And really, if you just implement these hooks into your videos, you're gonna have way better retention. Because sadly, even if your videos have a lot of value, if you don't manage to hook your audience in, they're not gonna see it. So invest time making a good hook. Make sure your hook is really worthy of someone's attention. And yeah, just borrow from my content calendar and you know adjust it, don't do it exactly that way, but adjust the template for how it fits with you. And you're gonna get way better reach and way better outcome. So don't you know neglect the hook, focus on the hook. Make sure the hook is powerful and Hook those viewers in. Carousel comeback. In 2024, I'm gonna put a lot more focus on carousel posts. Why? Because Metrical looked at 300,000 accounts, 1.4 million reels, and 2.4 million posts, and compared them between 2022 and 2023. And they found that reels are down a massive 76% compared to 2022. Now, there's a whole host of reasons for this. COVID's kind of gone now. There's way more people making content, so there's a lot more noise and competition out there. And a lot of people just aren't engaging on their phones. But one thing did increase, carousels. Their engagement actually went up 15%. And seamless carousels, those ones we we're looking at earlier, had an additional 13% increase. So we're talking about a 28% increase in that carousel space. If reels are going down and carousels are going up, you really want to ride that way. So you really need to get into carousels. So I highly recommend at the very least you get into carousel posts, but really seamless carousels are they're where it's at right now. And on carousels, there's actually another type of carousel post that it's just kind of emerging now. Gary V has kind of been pioneering it. And from what he shared in his videos, it seems to be doing quite well. The idea is basically that you have a fixed image as your first carousel that has like a good hook. But then your next carousel slide isn't actually an image, but a reel played within it. And from what Gary V said with his analytics, those videos were actually getting more watch time than just reels on their own. Now, I have only just started to experiment with this one, so I don't have any data on if it's good or not. But I think it's just another useful tool to have in your toolkit. If you've tried this out, then let me know in the comments below. This channel is all about me tracking my journey on Instagram to grow my parenting page, Kiwi Dad. I'm not some Instagram guru or anything like that. I'm just trying to kind of share what is authentically working for me right now. I'm hoping with these videos, I can provide actionable tips that can help you. If that's something that you would like to be part of, then please consider subscribing so I know that these videos are of value. Thank you very much, and I hope we can grow together.